Welcome Welcome to my movie thing Episode 6 The Dark is Rising is yet another fantasy coming of age story of a young boy who discovers his secret powers and adventures and evil things ensue. This is 90% of fantasy, basically. I don't know why fantasy enjoys young boys this much. Now, if I wanted to, I could easily have done a Catholic priest joke here, but I'm not gonna touch that one. Well, I kind of already did, didn't I? The most annoying thing about this film is that the cast is so annoyingly badly put together. Side characters and supporting cast is all right, but the main little kid and his nemesis, The Rider, both just badly cast. The kid is a bad actor, but Chris Eccleston, he is a good actor. He was just not right for this role. The Duck is Rising is almost not boring, so I'm going to give it a blank stare. Eastern Promises is brutal. It is really bloody brutal. The pacing is pretty easy going most of the time, so when they hit you with stuff like the bathhouse scene, oh boy. Boys and girls with a Vigo fetish, you should probably go see this film. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Right from the first few minutes, David Cronenberg just pulls you in, and he doesn't let go. Eastern Promises is a strong two-brow movie for me. Mr. Brooks? This is a really disturbing film. It's probably Costner's best part since... I don't know. Forever? Costner and William Hurt play off each other beautifully. I dare you to predict where this film is going as you watch it. Even though it's very closely related to Silence of the Lambs, it just chucks you all over the place. You have no idea where you're going. Oh, and psychopaths? Get your notebooks ready because you'll get a lot of great hints in this film. It's definitely a two-brow movie. Nancy Drew. Now let me run through this. Token small town girl moves to Hollywood with her father. Meets token black people, token Hollywood performers, token Hollywood crazy people, token goths, token teeny boppers, and befriends a token creepy fat stalker kid. She's afraid and suspicious of the token scary but ultimately innocent guy. She solves a boring mystery and goes back to a small town. Did I miss anything? No? Good. Maybe this film would be fun if I hadn't, you know, seen all this stuff like 6,000 times before. So maybe, you know, if you're five, you might enjoy it. This movie is based on a series of books that are like five billion years old. There was a woman in front of me in the cinema. She was about 60 or 70 years old. Do you think she liked that movie? Why make a film based on these books if you're not even going to try to please the people who have read the books and love them? I'm just saying. If you're an old fan, be warned. Because this is a frown. The Last Legion reminds me a lot of the last golden age of fantasy, for both better and for worse. The script is very wooden, and it needs good actors and a good director in order to make it work. And it mostly does. Mostly. Some of the actors, it has to be said, look as if they've been directed by George Lucas. Not really a compliment. Aishvarya, aka Queen of Bollywood, is stunning and she mops the floor with the guys in the film, which makes her a really good match for Colin Firth, who's also a bit of a yum yum, or so my girlfriend tells me. I have to say, I kind of agree. I think that if you're a fan of the old adventure and fantasy films, then you would probably have a good time at this film. One brow. I had an idea the other day. Between 6 and 8 pm Greenwich Mean Time on Wednesday, this Wednesday, I will be at my Stickham room and we'll be discussing the films that I've been reviewing in this episode. I just think it could be interesting to hear what kind of thoughts you guys have and, you know, I have a lot of thoughts about these films that I don't say in my five minutes time. So, I think it could be cool. Oh, oh God. This is a really disturbing film. All right, here's the thing. I still owe Cafe Press about $50, so if you'd like to help me out, buy some of my stuff. There's some cool stuff there. So go check it out. That'd be really, really great.